gentle. Oh. Be gentle, Lucia. Be gentle. Really? Be gentle. Good girl. Good girl, Oh, here's Tux. Tux is checking her out. Okay, baby, come on. Okay, come on with me. <laughs> Okay, baby. <laughs> okay, my baby. Oh, she's getting my arm. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> she's kind of still teething. Taxi. Shh, 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 shh. What I do, what I do is, um, I just got at this age, um, I at this age I just kind of redirect. If she tries to chew on my hands, I try to give her something else to chew on. Um, a stick or something. See, there's, there's Tux. There's Tux interacting a little bit with Lucia. Some people say that Tux doesn't really interact too much. He does. He does occasionally. But anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about on this video is kind of how I prevent uh, food aggression in, in my dogs. Um, because especially with a dominant guardian uh, kind of protection breed or any kind of dominant breed and yeah and, and you can kind of I guess you could throw the pit bull in with that mix uh, it's arguable but pit bulls pretty fierce uh, breed of dog I would say and so um, any kind of breed like that, kind of course, so, you know, any kind of dominant breed, there's a propensity for it to become aggressive with food or any other high, high value treat. Like, um, I guess another term is of resource guarding. And so, um, I mean, really with any dog, this is, is, is possible, but I think more so with this, these kind of dominant breeds. It's, it's so important to, <laughs> she got a little stick there, so important to um, train them early on to prevent that. Because as you can imagine, once they're, once they reach adulthood, you know, and they're big like Ozzy, that, the alpha male that I have, 150 pounds, <laughs> you can imagine, you know, if a dog his size and, and that powerful, you know, becomes a dog or a food aggressive towards one of the pack members that's that could be a catastrophe um but what i have oh, uh -uh, baby be gentle what i have is uh i'm gonna kind of string together some clips that i have taken uh -oh. i'm gonna put it up here with me Luchi. i'm gonna string together um some clips that I have taken uh, over the last couple of days that I've had her and uh, <laughs> and just kind of show you uh, how I'm getting them used to eating next to each other that's one thing is that you you start them off kind of getting used to eating next to each other and then <laughs> doesn't that hurt and then if you do witness any kind of uh, growling or uh, beginning of an ag aggress aggressive uh, posturing um, at mealtime, then, then you correct that immediately. So what I do is I kind of um, just take the food away and, you know, just tell them firmly with it, whatever it is that you use to tell them no or just say no firmly and make them wait until they don't do that anymore and then put them back to feeding next to the other dog and also you want to take possession of the food early on so uh, making them wait before they eat making them sit before they eat is kind of showing that you you're in control of the food and that you can take it away at any time um, and similarly, 
if I give them a, a high value treat like a marrow bone, a, a steak or anything like that, a frozen steak, I will, um, you know, give it after I give it to them after they sit for it and I give it to them and they're like halfway into eating it. I don't do this often, but I do it periodically is that I'll come and, and just take it, just take it away from them. And, um, that shows that, uh, I'm as the pack leader, I'm in control of all, all of their food. And so if they get the idea that they're going to try and resource guard, you know, I'll kind of, um, step in and show them, no, that's not your, your food to guard. That's my food type thing. So. Hello, Tux. Hello, Tux. There's Ozzy. <laughs> he must have been eating some grass. Oh, but yeah, so that's how I do it early on. And so I'll show you here in a couple videos um, that I have taken over the, 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 cat, the past couple days and today of uh, just kind of demonstration of that. And, mm -hmm. This is her very first time. Look how sweet, look how sweet, uh, Dolce, how motherly she is to her. She's like, yeah, all right, take your time, take your time, help yourself. Oh, she is so good. Dolce is so good. So, that I really watch them around her. I was carrying her with that puppy pad. Just in case she had an accident. Let's see if she'll have a few bites. You gonna have a thank you bite? No thank you bites? <laughs> Don't you say no. Sniffing her. Gypsy girl. Is that Lucia? What's that touch again? Is that a puppy? Yes, that's a puppy. Look how sweet is that? How sweet they are with her. They're real gentle with her so far. She's trying to come for shelter. So to help prevent food aggression, I make sure that I, when they're young like this, I put my hand around their high value treat. This is a marrow bone that she's tearing into. And I did that with all my dogs. So I could actually go put my hand in front of any of them 
and take away a raw steak. And they'll let me do it. Because I have, um, you know, have to establish myself as the pack leader. And then, you know, in the wild, the alpha, the alpha wolf will do that. And, and that's how you really know if they consider you the alpha of the pack. But it has to be done when they're when they're very young first. Otherwise, it's dangerous, of course, you know. But These are the three females. The two puppies. Look at them. See, no treat aggression, no food aggression. They're kind of sharing this rawhide, which is pretty remarkable that there's no growling. They're very tolerant of this puppy. And these are the two female kind of corsos. Pitbull puppy. Good girl, don't you? Just make a good girl, baby. Just make a good girl.